for character. All right, I'm so. Oh, he's not using Carl. He always used. He always subbed either. Oh my God, he's used Song One. You're my hero. I didn't even know this dude was still playing. Like I'm so. You have no idea how hype I am. That this guy is actually here. I mean, you have no. Basically, this dude is kind of my hero. I'll be perfectly honest. This dude is kind of my hero. Because back in the days of CT and CS, back when I was legitimately terrible at all things fighting games, rather than just slightly above average at all things fighting games. I, oh my god, those are two awful colors. What are you doing to me? Um... I used to watch footage from an arcade known as Arcade Infinity. It used to be in Southern California in the uh, LA region, I think. It clo it's clo been closed down for a while now, unfortunately. But that was where I went to find fighting game footage. Blaze Blue, Street Fighter, King of Fighters, it had it. Zong One was a huge player back then, and basically the only American Carl, Carl player back then. So he was always a incredibly fun to watch because Carl is just a fun character to watch. He has so many mix-up options, so much dirtiness available to him. Like, oh my god, look at that! Carl! Such an amazing character, and Zong One is such an amazing player. Like, look at this shit! I love it! I love it! And so, anyway, this was all this time. Like, I'm, I basically... There were certain people back then that I basically idolized. Mike Z is a fellow Tager player, the only real American Tager player that was winning. And let's be honest, it was never because he was like a particularly amazing player. He was just incredibly good at finding gimmicks. And that was back in a day and age when like nobody really knew the gimmicks. So gimmicks were extremely effective. Whereas now gimmicks aren't as effective anymore because people basically know them. But still, there were a bunch of players back then that were amazing. Song One was one of them. Mike Z was another. Dacid Bro, that was when he was coming up, but he was still very good. Uh, that was when he was coming up and being known as 5A Bang. And it was basically those three players kind of went like back and forth. There were a few others, but anyway. Zong One was one of the best. He was amazing, and because he was a Carl player, just a very exciting player to watch in general. Oh, that sucks. Never mind. So the very first, the very first tournament I go to, can't remember what it was called. Actually, it was the first NorCal install. It was the very first NorCal install that featured Blaze Blue instead of being, I believe, at that point it was basically just Guilty Gear. Maybe it might have had Melty Blood too, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, at, before that point, it was just a Guilty Gear tournament, and I don't want to say just Guilty Gear tournament, but that was pretty much all it had was Guilty Gear. So that was the first time I picked up Blaze Blue. I was like, you know what? Berkeley's about an hour, 45 minute drive away from me. Fuck it, let's go. Let's see what happens. My very first match was a dude that didn't show up and got DQ'd, so I got immediately moved on to the second round. And my second round matched technically my very first tournament match of all time was against this dude. Was against Zong One. I got my ass kicked. Oh my god, did I get my ass kicked. Because this was the first player essentially damn man why is it like why do you join player match rooms Please if you're just gonna quit character. after one loss you're not gonna get better Jeez, you have to grind it out you will not get better if you just quit the moment you lose and if you're just gonna keep on losing and quitting don't for the love of god stick around and keep playing don't only play people that you can win against you're not gonna improve that way anyway Zong One was basically the very first individual that fought against me and used a neutral game, used footsies. He just sat behind the doll, waited for me to throw out a normal, and then smacked my ass with Carl's 5C from, you know, however fucking far away it is. His 5C has huge range. Bodied my business. Because I was an impatient as f- I mean, I'm still impatient as hell as a player. But I was even worse then, and basically all I wanted to do was sledge everything. And he knew. The moment he saw Sledge start up, 5C bodied me. The moment I tried to 5C him, he was he knew the exact range of 5C and was a very tiny bit out of it. Just pixels away, bodied me. With punished the shit out of me. Murdered me. I just saw it as long as 
one of my favorite players of all time, easily. And I thought he had quit because I haven't seen him in ages. I haven't seen him basically since CS2. I mean, granted, a large part of this is kind of just because of the fact that I really have no idea where to go to find SoCal Blaze Blue footage now. Nice hit box, man. He didn't deserve that at all. Song One's like, I don't even have anything to say. Song One's just Song One. He's a far better player than me, and I'm gonna get my business body. Oh my god, nice. Good DP. He actually probably could have. I mean, I have no idea if it would have worked. But if he could have used Overdrive and. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty close to taking the round. Oh, that was your shit, bro! Now you let him get back to his doll. Although he's not crazy his doll. Oh, the doll's almost dead. Oh, no, Zong, what are you doing? Even I saw that coming. Zong, why? Don't make me play Jin. I want to get bodied by you, not play Jin. So what's going on here? Did my connection just die? Did my connection just get very sad? Judging by all this, my connection got very sad. Either it's my connection or their connection. Either way, something got very sad. Nice. This homie dead. Oh, I wonder if he can actually kill. Oh, his doll's dead. He can't kill. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was so slow. The slowest dive kick like move of all time. Actually, nah, Tager's 2C probably takes that. Carl can just get higher up in the air because Tager's a fatty. I really hope this isn't my connection. Because unless Zong One moves somewhere, he's in SoCal, and that's pretty close to me. Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna go for He probably did try to go for the unblockable. Just didn't get his hits done down far enough. He wants that burst. Oh, he's gonna take that Oh, he tried to take that burst. He tried. He wanted the burst. There's the burst! He took the burst. Third try is the charm. Counter! Die! That was actually always one thing he was never very good at. Mix up's amazing. Neutral game is amazing. So for the life of him, that dude can never keep his doll alive. Please don't be. God, alright, please don't be my connection. I'm crossing. I want to play this dude. And I want it to be in a good connection. Please, please, please don't ruin my day. <laughs> please select your character. Royale. Making me be patient. He's teaching me. This is what you're gonna. You gotta be patient, son. You're not gonna beat me if you're impatient. So have some patience right now. This is gonna hurt so badly. 
I'm already mentally preparing myself for the beatdown of a lifetime. Alright, son. Ow, that has a higher hitbox than I expected. That's not a good start. Oh, matchup of experience. Why? Oh, air oh my god. Oh god, nice pickup. Oh, this sucks. Nice pickup. Oh. 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 I should have blocked that. There was no reason for me not to block that. I might actually be dead. He has a super available to him, and that uppercut super hurts like a motherfucker. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, where was the growler? I tried to growler. Damn it. Oh, I tried to backdash. Landing recovery. Why? I suck. Oh, God damn it, Carl Mortals. Ow. Oh my god, I suck! I'm supposed to forward dash, not get hit! I was supposed to instant block, not get hit! Oh, damn it. I blocked that too late. Damn it! <laughs> Everything at the end of that match went wrong. I knew he was gonna do something with the doll, so I wanted to forward dash through the doll. And he only dashed once. I wanted twice. That was my fault. I mean, I had that match multiple times, and I dropped everything. No excuses. I lost fair and square. Damn it. That makes me so sad! <laughs> the connection was fine, though, so that's good. We had that going for us. <laughs> he went to the boring character. Actually, I probably have a hard. Asriel probably has a harder time. Well, you know what? Come to think of it, I'm trying to because um, what's his name? Dogura actually thinks Carl is one of Asriel's hardest matchups. You know what? I'm actually thinking about it. I agree. Carl's a harder character for him to beat. Arakuni is a harder character for him to catch. That would be my professional opinion regarding that. Ouch. Oh, you about to get bodied, son. Half a second away from curse. 
<laughs> That's a bad start to work. Can't kill off this stuff now. Ooh, that's close. Oh, never mind. Oh, watch the flash kick. Huh? Yeah, that's a free punish. I don't know if Kagura could do better there, because obviously you couldn't follow that up. You couldn't kill with it. Oh, oh, that's right. He doesn't need Oh my god, he's dead. Oh, you had it! Doesn't look like Zong 1 really knows the new Era Kuni combos. Oh, we fucking better know the new Era Kuni combos. He's level 16. I think, what's the highest you can get? 30? But it didn't really look like he knows the new ones. This dude doesn't know Kagura combos either. There it is! Oh, it's still doing combo. He's punish that. It was like a free whiff punish. Yeah, this dude definitely does not know Kagura combos. You don't let a homie out of the corner as Kagura. Ouch. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That should've hurt. You should have. I don't know, just wait. Well, now it's irrelevant. That was a terrible burst, dude. Don't do stuff with a reverse. It just doesn't work. It's all such an enormous risk. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for that. He fought. It was like the one time when he should not have done it, and he did it. He had like five other opportunities throughout the first two rounds to use that. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Nice. Oh, not nice. Punish I mean, he's getting into whip every single time, but he's just not punishing. See, this is a problem with my mentality that I really need to fix. Oh, not every single hit of that is low? I had no idea. Because he stood up in the middle of it. Seems like a waste of meter. Like, the only thing I could imagine, that was it. That was the only thing I could have imagined rapping there for was to try and bait a burst, but he didn't have a burst. But anyway! Oh my god, all you had to do was knock him away, jump cancel into fucking super, and he was done. Or you can do that. But this is a problem with me and my mentality in general. If I know a player is good, like Zong1, like honestly his Arakoni left a lot to be desired. But still, I respect Zong1 as a player. And so I'm very analytical of his matches. Whereas with a lot of other players, I just kind of watch him bullshit. I don't really pay attention to anything. I'm not really analyzing anything. I'm just kind of sitting there like, why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? You know, just... Not really paying close attention. Go away! Zero bar! Why did he start blinking Please immediately? Select your character. Like in the other one. It took this dude, what, like... Two minutes to get kicked off? Well, two minutes to start flashing, and another two minutes to get kicked off. This time, that dude readies up, and Zong one is flashing within seconds. Aw. Oh. But yeah, I need to... This is just a bad mentality to have, to not be analytical the entire time, and to rather to be, you know, just not really paying attention and just kind of making fun of people. I should be, you know, being analytical, watching characters, watching what they do, what looks safe, what isn't safe, because you can't really pay attention to that kind of stuff mid-match when you're playing, not as closely as you would want to. Whereas right here, I have no distractions, I have nothing else to watch, this is it. That sucks. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Never put yourself in the corner against Arakuni. Song, you're disappointing me. Go back to your car, it's more fun. What the? <laughs> 
What the fuck? Oh, that's that curse, isn't it? Oh no. I was thinking, I was thinking he could have gotten that. He could have gotten the wall stick, but he wasn't close enough to it. If he had gotten the wall stick, it would have been curse. But just a tiny bit too far away. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. That's right. These are the two players that were the spectator mode got really iffy during that too. Last time. What's the fraud? That anti air is something I really need to work on. Because that anti is very invincible. It's a very. I mean, in terms of the invincibility, it's a very good anti air. But the problem is, it's a very slow anti air. So it's entirely possible to jump in on that. And you can throw out a normal and it'll whiff, but the move comes out so slow that a lot of times you can land and block first. But I just don't block it, I don't option select it. And I really should. Yeah, Jin gets far too much of a benefit out of his meter to use it for that. That's good for overdrive if they're about to die, but not otherwise. Could have actually gotten cursed off that. Here, 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 That surprises me. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, nice burst. He might have died off that. Oh, he's not gonna die off this. Need for that, you should have recursed. Oh, Zong. 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 Oh, that's right, he didn't win. Though I don't know why I'm thinking this dude won the first round. I thought that was it. I don't know why. Zong. Rebel three. Action. Hello? Oh. Or just having me get hit by a creep. Oh, oh my god. That's slow DT. Nice. The greatest gin mix up in the world. See, now I'm getting. Now I'm going back to like asshole mode because it's just the way this looks. I don't know if the connection is actually this bad or if this is just spectator mode fucking up royally. Oh man. If we get stuck with the zero bar, I'm out. Like, I'm not playing the zero bar. Or is this dude gonna be stuck, period? I want. Oh, okay. No! Damn it. I mean, I'm just. I'm not playing the zero bar. We've already had poor. Oops, not there. No! Go down, you motherfucker! Why is there like. It was like four second lag right there before it actually let me do it. Why is nobody playing? This is bullshit! And we, we already looked here to see if it was, you know, a bunch of these people. Fuck. This is so disappointing. I had Zong one. I had Zong one and he's gone. How much time do we got? Let's try. Let's see if we can find a ranked match if we can. Nope. Fuck it. Damn it. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Get rid of that shit. Oh. That did nothing. That did nothing. I was so excited, thinking like, oh, there's billions of players I'm missing out on because of that shit. Nope. Nope. Damn it, man. Ugh. I had Zong 1. I'm so sad right now. What do I do then? 
Fuck it, let's do somebody uh, somebody requested me to do score attack. I'm going Please to do score attack and I'm going to show you the godlikeness of my Tarumi. Yuki Tarumi. That is to say, my Tarumi, my terrible, terrible, terrible Tarumi. But I do think Um I definitely think Tarumi is one of the best characters to do score attack as. Firstly, if you want to maximize your score on score attack, you want to utilize a character that gets a lot of hits because you get bonuses. For every 10 hits, you get in a combo, and Tarumi has that. He has he has a lot of hits in his combos. But then you also want a character that can end on an Astral in every round. Tarumi's one of the only characters that you can really guarantee an Astral. Because if you just body the opponent completely, most other characters don't get enough meter to have 100 by the end of it if you're getting a perfect on the opponent. Tarumi does because of his meter game. And so he gets a huge boost. Not a good start. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, good enough. My real, where was the 5D, you son of a bitch? Whoa, really? Oh, I missed the dash! Why do I suck? I deserve to lose that because I missed the dash. Am I really getting blown up by Platinum? I legitimately just did not know that Platinum had that much invincibility on our back deck. Oh my god, I am just getting- I'm getting body. I'm getting my bo my business is getting body. Oh my god, am I really like- I'm getting this- this is- this is- this is this bad. This is this bad. I'm this bad at this game. Damn it. You motherfucker! Motherfucker! Did she really just invincibility like... Ow. Oh fuck, I didn't know. But this is another reason why Tsurumi is good, is if you get an Astral, look at this. You get a 10 hit combo bonus, a 20 hit combo bonus, 30 hit combo bonus, 40 hit combo bonus. Just off of the Astral. And obviously if you do a far better combo than I did right there, you could get even higher because... As you saw, just that basic ass shit got me 44 hits. It's easy to hit 50, 60. If you do an appropriate combo. I'm sure it's even better if you know how to use Tarumi's Overdrive, but I don't. I'm sure it's also even better if you don't get your ass kicked by the opponent, but I do. Ha <laughs> ha! We might not even get through it. That was actually terrible. それじゃダメ。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。本当に。それじゃダメ。
poops, I just want that. Supposed to be a super, you son of a bitch! I wanted to end on the distortion! I suck at this game. Okay, so you must not be able to do what I'm trying to do. Mother! I love how I tried to do dash 2B, and I get that. Ow. Yes! That was what I wanted. I didn't do an astral finish there. I can't even follow my own damn advice! It's because I'm getting my ass kicked. You don't follow game plans when you're getting your ass kicked, it doesn't work! The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action! Oh, I got a rapid cancel bonus. Good to know, I'll have to do that. Ow. Oh! I just wanted to get out of the corner because the ash was kind of iffy in the corner. And now I'm getting my ass in. You motherfucker! You motherfucker! You motherfucker! I'm so mad! That was Astral. That was Astral, the 236D didn't come out. You motherfucker! Why do you do this to me? I really do need to be doing better combos before that though. Because getting a 50 hit bonus or even 60 hit bonus would be so much better. Actually, the problem there would be... I wonder if you can cancel out of his stomps. Because the problem is, like I said, I'm scared as hell to do that in the corner because a lot of the times the Astral goes behind outside of the corner and it whiffs because they're, you know, you're right next to them. 
So they're basically in between you and the astral. And, but that's where he gets the most hits, is in the corner. Ow. Fuck. 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 Oh god, this is gonna hurt. What? I don't even know what this bitch is doing! Body and me, that's what she's doing. Shit. Rebel <laughs> 2. I don't understand! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'll take it. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm so bad at everything. God damn it! No! Fuck. Look at that plan, Stupid bursts ruining my day! I wonder if you can do Astral off of... I mean, it'd probably be... Well, I'm sure you could do Astral off of counter hit 5D, but it'd be very difficult to hit confirm. Far easier to just do 5D, 2, 3, 60, Astral. Oops. I just did 2C instead of 2D. My bad. Oops. I'm free. Wow, what? I cannot believe that just traded. That shit never trades. I really just stopped doing that. Fuck. I should catch him. I really need to figure out when you can do Astral mid combo when you can't. Because sometimes, for some reason, sometimes mid at mid combo you start your icon starts flashing. You get to you might be able to do an Astral if you can confirm it properly from the middle of your combo. And sometimes you can. I don't know what the what determines whether you can or cannot do that. 
damn, we're 40 minutes. This is only like round five or six, too, isn't it? The wheel of we got ten is to go through. My bad. Rebel one. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it would be this difficult. Ow. Oh, I thought he turned around. Oops, I'm free. I'm free! That was supposed to be six. Yes. Oh, Ow. My friends are blocking it. Yo, son of a bitch! I'm mad. Nate's mad. Nate's mad. I should have been distortion and a kill, and five more points than I got. Damn, that's what. Oh, I need to stop doing that. I'm not used to trying to hit confirm. That's what I wanted to do. I'll do it again? I don't care, I want the meter. Yeah, see no? Hmm. Nail that fucking bot oh. Ain't that just a bitch? Thought I nailed it, totally didn't. Ow. Oh, fuck! Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god! Why are my 236Ds not fucking coming out, man? Hope this isn't a stick issue, because I've been having problems with 236. I missed those Rekkas multiple times. Now I'm missing these 236Ds multiple times. I really hope my stick is not on the way out. Because that would be a very, very depressing thing. There! You mother mother! Oh. Thank you. Aww. Sometimes after the flash you can, um... I mean after the round end thing you can still do the stomps and get extra hits and get extra points. Ideal thing there probably would have been to uh, go into overdrive and kill an overdrive because I would have been able to, if I knew overdrive combos, I would have easily been able to get at least six hits. I wonder if you can do, I bet you can do it, would take some timing. It would take some learning to get the timing down on it, but I'm sure you can probably get an astral after 6D. In 6D, an overdrive gets you like 12 hits or some shit, right? It does double normal. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Ow. Ow. 
Because I forgot, off a counter hit, off a counter hit on that move, you can do three, uh, six C, and then I probably could have wrapped it. What? What? I wonder if that's free. I bet that's free. Terrible hit confirmed. No, that's way too far away. Maybe if I dash first, yeah, that's free. I'm gonna have to remember that for Overdrive. I mean, not Overdrive, for Unlimited Mars. Because that was free every single time. I mean, granted, Unlimited Mars is probably some throw invincible bullshit just to, just to piss me off, but yeah, that was free. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Oops. I don't know why I just keep hitting the wrong buttons, really. Dude! Thank you. Should be able to kill off. Nah, I don't know. Oh, it's not gonna combo. Stupid. Rebel two. Action. Whoa. Get the Wow, she was covered very fast. What? God damn it! God damn it! Oh, you motherfucking son of a- Dude, I swear to god. That was like four times in a row I missed that shit. This is not looking good. I really should pop up and I'm trying to need to turn this off. Oh, I have- oh shit. Well, I don't know. I don't know which of these, because there's a bunch of screws in here. And I don't know, we, there's basically three sets of four. I'm assuming the ones that are on the far corner are probably the ones that keep the bottom of the stick attached to the top of the stick. But then there's four that are connected to the little kind of pads that are on the bottom to prevent it from actually lying completely flat on the bottom. And then there are four in the middle. And I'm assuming one of these is to keep on the little layer of kind of softer material. I actually don't know what the fuck the layer in the middle is for. I have no idea. I have to assume it's one of the outer layers that keeps the middle part on. And then it's... See, so, yeah, I don't know. But I, want, I, need, I should pop it open and just see, because it might just require some dusting, and if I got rid of the dust inside, that could fix all the problems. That would be a far easier fix than trying to find a new goddamn stick. Well, not trying to find a new stick, but actually buying a new stick because that shit's expensive. Oh, damn. Fuck! Oh, 
thought I might be able to hop over that. Like that. Except I went the way too far. I don't know why the fuck I dashed away, that was like my chance. I can't believe that means shit. I cannot lose, I came this far, I cannot lose to new! Rebel 2 Action! Damn. <gasps> no! No! I'm losing everything! How did I what? I don't know how I didn't block that. I felt like I should have blocked it, did I? Not looking good! No, that was not what I wanted, you son of a bitch! No! I should have just gone into a distortion. Fuck. This is stressful. Rebel 3. Action. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No, 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 Yes. I don't even know if this is the last fight. <laughs> Praying to God it is. I mean, I can't imagine because New 13 is definitely like an end boss ish character. And since they went in order of females, I have to assume she's the last one because it went Moo then New. So that would make sense. Please, God, let that be the last one. It's taking long enough that it's probably loading the score and shit. Yes! Thank God! Yeah, no damage bonus, we're never getting that. Congratulations! Congratulations indeed, I'm the best! Yes. Let's see. Where are we? Where are we in the leaderboards? Show me, I don't care about the credits. Damn, this almost went an hour. <laughs> that took me so much longer to beat than I thought. I'm so terrible. I bet I could actually probably get a better score with Asriel just because I would definitely get hit less as Asriel. Because I'm better, you know, I have a better neutral game with him and I know his tools better. Whereas with Tarumi, I was basically just running around mashing 5D and hoping it would work. <laughs> and that was basically the extent of my game plan. Which does not go over all that well, so let me see. Where is you son of a bitch? So I guess I have to come all the way over here. Fuck! But see, yeah, look, Tarumi's amazing for this one. Damn, there is no character diversity here at all. I mean, there's a very small amount, but in general, it's look at this, it's all Jin, Ragna, Tarumi, and then a few others scattered around there. Bullring-ass Blaze Blue community. Alright, sorry that took so long.